Hello, New World Gamers. Happy Tuesday. It's me, Lamani. And today, I'm going to be giving you a little video just talking about how I make my gold, what I'm doing, and how to make fast, really solid amounts of gold and potentially hundreds of thousands, right? And these are just some easy things you can do every day, some things you can do at the market, and just very common general things that will start yielding you thousands of gold so that you can, you know, get better gear, up those trade skills and do whatever you need to do. Before we get started, look down below. I got the socials linked down there. And I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 10 30, 11 a.m. Central Time. Go for about five hours on Twitch TV. And that is Central Time again. But if you need anything, feel free to drop in that Twitch chat. Come on, talk to me. Leave me a DM or a comment down below. So, just another quick update, things coming this week. We have this video. I'm going to be talking about another one uh, in a little bit here. We have our new potential healing meta video and maybe another one coming later this week, but we're going to start off today. So I just want to talk about gold really quick. If anybody watched my stream on Monday, I was sitting around like 15K-ish, 5K-ish. It's now Monday night and I'm up to 160,000 gold just doing some of these methods that I actually did on stream if you go back and check the VOD and another one, but... Where are we actually going to start? Well, first, I'm going to preface this with talking about daily cooldowns. So if any of you aren't familiar with your daily cooldowns, look in your trade skills, go into the refining section. You can't see my weaving here, but I have smelting, woodworking, leatherworking, stone cutting, and weaving. The big thing that I actually do, uh, I think this is one of the most easy and consistent ways of making money, and you have a couple options when it comes to refining, but... One is just buying the materials and then going and crafting it. Like for instance, me going and crafting Asmodium, right? I need Tolvium, I need Cinnabar, and I need Oracle Alchemy Gets. Now, do you net a ton of money for doing this? You net a couple hundred, but you also, if you have gear on, will have some bonus chance potential. But the other real big thing you can do is just simply sell your cooldown. Once you're at 200, you can say in trade chat, hey, I'm selling my cooldown for Asmodium. Somebody will hit you up, give you like 1.5K in mats, and then take your Asmo, something like that, right? Um, but in general, I would be price checking, making sure, okay, is it worth for me to do, you know, my woodworking one today and getting glittering empty, right? Now, the biggest thing you have to be aware of though is wearing your trade skill gear. I constantly have mine on. The more trade skill gear you have on, the better, right? Like Tanner said, is super cheap and then you're getting a whole 10% chance of getting a bonus proc. Um, things like smelter gear or a lot of the shirts or other random pieces like helmets can be very expensive, but there is tons of long-term potential for it. So just in general, using your daily cooldowns. Now, with daily cooldowns, if you are crafting themselves, one big thing you can do is actually roll gear with them. So like that's what I do a lot and that's how I make a lot of money as well. And you roll that gear, figure out, you know, what are some solid perks? What are some things you want to try and see? What are the things that sell for a lot? What are those high priority shards? Maybe a lot of shards sitting in your bank. Going and rolling gear can net you a ton of money. Like today alone, I've sold a couple pieces for uh, tens of thousands, um, three or four different pieces, and I'm, I'm just sitting here chilling, and I have a bunch of other pieces posted on the market. Now let's pivot this into market stuff. The biggest way to make gold, in my opinion, is if you go buy orders, okay? So for me specifically, I have all of these buy orders on food, right? I just throw in, you know, 3K, 4K, whatever on food. You can also see here, I have a ton of sell orders, you know, gear, all kinds of gear stuff, just stuff I am going to sell and make money on, let it sit, somebody will buy it eventually. Anyway, back to buy orders. If you are a person, sorry, if you're a person who has, you know, 50,000 gold, you're sitting there like, hmm, what can I do to make gold? Well, it's like real life, people. Let your money work for you, okay? So for instance, right, we'll just bring up, okay, like, hmm, let's see. What would be a great example? Let's look at string beans, okay? I have a buy order, 30 cents piece, 4,000, okay? Now, if I go to string beans right now, now I'm gonna explain to you what I actually do with mine, but they're at 85 per, then go to 90, right? So essentially, I am paying half that cost and I'm getting string beans. Now I have options, right? I can either straight up sell them, make uh, triple my money, or I can use them. But the biggest thing is, when you put a buy order in, it is going to look a little bit scary, right? Like this is only 1100 gold that I have right here, but it's going to look scary because your gold's going to go down. But in reality, if you don't end up buying it, you're going to get that gold back and anything that you do buy, you will be able to flip for a higher price and make that gold back again, regardless of tax and everything else. So it's just simple investing of, okay, why are you even sitting there with 50K when you're getting off at the end of the night? Put in some buy orders, make a little bit of money. Obviously, don't put your entire bankroll in there, but put in the buy orders to get the money. 
Now for me personally, what do I like doing with my buy orders? As you can see, I have thousands of food and I just put in all of these, but I have thousands of food sitting here. What am I going to do with it? Well, I am going to craft, um, well, you can see my cooking proficiency is actually at a hundred. Okay. Why is it? Why am I doing this? I am getting as many of these foods as possible because I can buy them all for like, again, I'll show you, uh, something as simple as like cranberries. Okay. If people sell me cranberries, I put 320 gold in this, but actual cranberry price. Again, if I flip these is one, one gold. Okay. But if I can buy them that low, what I'm doing is I'm crafting hearty meals, which you can then also sell, but then you get bonus procs. Okay. And what are the high ticket bonus proc items? I made a video about this a while back, but like, for instance, on my VOD today, you can see I got a hundred tarragon just from crafting my hearty meals and I probably put 5k gold into it, okay? Just this tarragon alone is yielding me 6,000 6, gold. Yep, yeah, quick maths. There's things like sumptuous rabbits, right? There's bear flanks. You see, I have 100 sumptuous rabbits after today. We look at bear flanks. These I bought a bunch of, but I have 458. Now, with these big ticket items, again, you can once again sell the food or you can pivot it into crafting. And so I'm just giving you a quick example, but with trade skills, like cooking, you can buy a lot of the mats low and then craft something and then sell it, right? Or for me, like I'm pivoting my 5K that I spent on like cranberries, blueberries, red meat, and string beans, right? I'm making hearty meals, right? And I'll just show you an example. Okay, so let's just, let's just do one really fast. While we're sitting here, I can do this, I can do this, I can use honey, and we can use uh, my uh, oregano. Okay, or actually, let's do this because I don't want to burn that because I'm using it for something. I'll burn my pork and then I'll do my honey, right? And I make 106 meals, almost with my sumptuous rabbits. I would have cried. Tender, f <laughs> that was good, good catch on Lamani there. All right, so you go and boom, I get a proficiency cash. Let's see, okay? Let's see what's in this one. And we go. I get string beans, peppercorn, prime red meat, pork belly, all this stuff. Nutmeg going for like three per, something like that. I don't really know. But you can get procs of, I got a 20 tarragon. Imagine you have good luck. Boom, you're good to go. But what am I also doing then? Back onto the crafting train. I take that tarragon or I take those rabbits or I take whatever and I start to craft some really like big ticket foods. For instance, roasted rabbit. Let's find it. Roasted rabbit with season vegetables. This goes for about 65 gold per. Everybody is handing them out on wars. You can align with the war schedule. And right now without any uh, cooking gear on, without major trophies, I'm at a 43% chance to craft an additional one. I can boost that up to 55. If I'm crafting these hundred or so rabbits, that should yield me about another 50. And then I'm making even more money on my money. But in reality, I spent, you know, five, 10 K maybe on cheap mats to craft 10,000 hearty meals or whatever. I've never actually crafted that many. And I just pivot the resources into things that people will buy. So what am I trying to say with my demonstration? You can do this with anything. Okay. With jewel crafting, with, um, smelting, with any of these professions, there are ways to buy orders low and then make things and sell them high. That's it. So I think that is a huge way to make some extra money. And I'm going to start doing that a lot more often on stream just to show people what I've been doing because it's been helping me. And I'm a person who typically struggles with gold. That was a long winded way of telling you use your professions and buy orders to make a lot of gold. Now, what's my final way of actually making money? I mentioned this earlier. So we take trade skill items like, you know, my orc helka or my, my Asmodium or my runic leather, my Phoenix weave, and we roll things, right? So I roll gear. Um, that, that's a great way of doing it. Like, again, we rolled Dan a bunch of stuff. If you look at my sell orders, like a lot of this is shade Walker and weird things. And it, it's going to sit there for a little bit. It's similar to like, wow, transmog market. Um, and these aren't recent now because the game does not like to show these, but I've been selling things all day, just popping in and out. I just sold a pair of boots for a hundred K, right? It just depends on how lucky you get. And yeah, it is a little bit of a gamble, but you can pivot your resources that you craft throughout the week, you know, wear your weaver's gear, your tanner gear, your smelter gear, whatever, and get more. And then just try and roll more. Or again, you can sell those resources straight up. But what is the other thing that you can do? Go on the market and snipe pieces, okay? Right? You just go through, like, you know, let's say I know that sacred, sacred's a great ring roll, right? And I'm looking and I find something with sacred. And I'll scroll through, 
and I'll look at, you know, anything that is 600 gear score and just see, you know, like, what is this price? What are these stats? And think about it. What is the stat that I'm looking at? What are the perks I'm looking at? And how much money could I actually make out of this, right? Like sometimes people sell these, these kinds of rings, right? If I see a sacred with a focus roll for 5k, I'm probably going to buy it, right? Because somebody's going to want it. There'll be somebody out there, post it in trade chat. Boom. There you go. But so what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to have a video coming soon that is going to cover every single piece of gear and tell you what are the best perks to be looking for. But in general, so that'll be coming later this week. So we're going to go through like, you know, uh, life staff. What are the perks you should be looking for in gear? And then how are we looking for certain gear or what is gear valued at? But as far as gear goes, when we're trying to, you know, snipe and sell gear or even roll gear, I think the gear market is the biggest one to really make money on. What you have to think of is one, if it's crafting stuff, even, even if it's a real item, one, how much is the shard that got used to craft it? Two, what are the stats on it? Like for instance, if I'm rolling con, you know, I have to burn 10 con uh, guardsmen. So that's going to be like, you know, a 3k right there, you know, and then what are the perks? So one, you know, what are the perks? But two, is it one perk? Is it two perk bis? Is it three perk bis? And there's a drastic difference between a two perk bis item versus a three perk bis item. If you have three usable perks, you're sitting at like the hundreds of thousands of gold. For instance, the boots that I sold today, they were uh, accelerating lights and brace, aversion, and a resil, right? Light boot, right? Light boot, very expensive shard if I just look up a shoe shard. So it's gonna just cost you more to uh, to roll these if I can actually find these. It's like, I don't know, something like this. If I get rid of the perk, it's like th two, 1K a roll at least. Right. Shards are shards aren't as expensive anymore. But regardless, I'm rolling these. It's gonna cost me more money to roll light. It's gonna cost me more money to have free perk and have it legendary. People will buy it for hundreds of thousands of gold. Gear market is great. Set up systems with buy orders and do your daily cooldowns. And then whatever else it is to make money, just go around, harvest random stuff, do your thing. But there is so much potential just doing simple buy orders on the market, people. That's all. That's all I'm gonna tell you for today. Keep your YouTube ready for when that gearing and armoring video comes out. And I'm going to go through all the perks that you should be looking for, for gear you should be keeping uh, on PVE runs, on whatever you're doing, and you will be ready to be a market fiend. But for now, I hope this helps just showing you what I do on a general basis. This is what Dan does too. A lot of gamers, if you are somebody who struggles with money, I mean, I feel like it is somewhat, you know, it might seem obvious to some of you, but some people don't realize, right? Playing the market it's very simple. Just let your money work for you. Anyway, I'm Amani. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Hit the socials down below. Hit the stream. And if you need anything in the meantime, please feel free to message me. DMs are best on Discord. But as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you. Beautiful people for being you. Peace.